Now, the latest ITV news in the Calendar region with Ian White and Lara Rostron. desperate situation, the urgent plea for baby milk formula in Hull. One baby milk um, pack is 17 or 18 pounds. So we have 18 women, they are regularly coming in there asking and the rest of the women we are just saying to them that sorry we don't have any. Now to the distressing reality of the cost of living crisis which is affecting some mothers in Hull. One community organisation is putting out an urgent appeal for baby milk formula as some parents admit that they're struggling to feed their newborn babies. Calendar has been given special access to one centre which helps black, Asian and minority ethnic women in the city, some who have experienced domestic violence, unemployment and poverty. Hull Sisters have even turned to one online marketplace to ask for donations of milk with a simple plea, please help, so babies don't go hungry. Matt Price reports. Many of these women are mothers to young children, too small to understand the magnitude of the cost of living crisis. This community organisation in Hull is to them a support network, a safe haven, a place to rely upon. I'm not working, I don't get any benefits, it's really hard. Marina, not her real name, moved to Hull three years ago. She's pregnant and she's worried, concerned how she'll pay for essential baby supplies. Among them, must-have milk formula, which she cannot afford. I don't know what I'd do without the support here. I can't give them food like big people. They need the milk and I don't want my children to get sick. But I just don't have that money. Marina will rely on Hull Sisters for a handout of formula, but here they are running so low and have put out an urgent appeal for help. One baby milk um, pack is 17 or 18 pounds. So we have nearly 18 women. They are regularly coming in there asking. And the rest of the women, we are just saying to them that, sorry, we don't have any. There may be people, they will be living in, the, in your neighbourhood, but you don't aware of their circumstances. Sonia tells me how they've even turned to online marketplaces for support, as well as pleas on social media, which they hope will be answered. All year, families have been telling us that they've got nothing left to cut back on. They had a decade of austerity, they had COVID, and now they've had the cost of living crisis. And the cupboards are bare, they've got mouths that they need to feed. And while that has been some support for government, it hasn't been enough to keep pace with the rising of prices across the board. Alina, whose name we've also changed, is another of the women Hull sisters aims to help. She too is being forced to make some difficult decisions. Every bill is now going up. When you go to the shop, it's very expensive. My family's food shop has doubled, so it's very hard to buy baby milk. Hull sisters are determined to prevent the very youngest from going hungry. But it seems the cost of living crisis already appears to be affecting the next generation. Well, Matt joins us in the studio now. Matt, this issue in Hull, is it an isolated one? No, this is affecting not only Hull, the whole region, the whole of the United Kingdom. I think, Ian, the first thing to say is thank you to the women that you saw in my report, bravely speaking up, bravely sharing those stories. Not an easy thing uh, for them to do. Now, this week, the British Pregnancy Advisory Service have come out saying that some families are having to, what they call, resort to unsafe feeding practices due to the soaring cost of formula. You think one of those tubs, mm -hmm. they've got up about a fifth in the last year alone. So really, really expensive. And some women, of course, they find it difficult to breastfeed. So that means that some of them are now watering down formula or even giving their babies unsuitable food. So a desperately uh, tricky situation for so many families tonight. It certainly sounds like it. What have the government had to say about it? Well, they've given us a statement tonight, Ian, and in that they say, um, they, they, they tell us their priority will always be to support the most vulnerable. And they recognise that people are struggling with rising prices, which is why they've protected millions of those in need with at least £1,200 of direct payments. 
governments are providing all households with £400 towards energy costs this year. But I think that's going to do little to appease Sonia, who you heard from in my report, and the women that we spoke to. Think of this. Many don't have access to benefits. Many don't have English as their first language. Applying for universal credit is very difficult um, on its own. And we hear this, this phrase, don't we, making the decision between heating and eating. It's affecting adults, but also toddlers and babies in our region too. Yeah, and a crying baby is very, very difficult to live with, isn't it? Okay, Thanks troubling much, story. Thank you. Uh, you can read more about this on our website. Just log on to itv.com slash calendar. Next tonight, a Sheffield nurse who filmed up the gowns of unconscious patients has been officially struck off the register. Paul Grayson was just...